identifying local behavior of polynomial functions. In addition to the end behavior of polynomial functions, we are also interested in what happens in the middle of the function. In particular, we are interested in locations where graph behavior changes. A turning point is a point at which the function values change from increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing. We are also interested in the intercepts. As with all functions, the y-intercept is the point at which the graph intersects the vertical axis. The point corresponds to the coordinate pair in which the input value is zero. Because a polynomial is a function, only one input, well, excuse me, only one output value corresponds to each input value, so there can be only one y-intercept. The x-intercepts occur at the input values that correspond to an output value of zero. It is possible to have more than one x-intercept, as you can see here. So here you can see are your x-intercepts. Here is a turning point. Down here is a turning point, and it crosses the y-axis, and there is the y-intercept. So, a turning point of a graph is a point at which the graph changes direction from increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing. So in this one here, we're increasing. There's a turning point. Now it's decreasing. If we come down here, we're going to have another turning point. So it's decreasing, and then it's going to increase. The y-intercept is the point at which the function has an input value of 0, and the x-intercepts are the points at which the output value is 0.